Boat and welcome back. I thought it would be fun to take you on a tour of my gardens this week. Now the first thing I want to say is I am not a professional landscaper by any means. I just love gardening. I enjoy seeing other people's gardens and I thought it would be fun to take you along as well. If you're hearing uh, my rooster in the background, his name is Greybeard and he's a very confused rooster. He likes to think that it's time to crow very odd hours of the day. So try and um, so sorry for the background noise. That's my rooster. So before I begin this tour, I wanted to say I would love to do a tour in the spring, the summer, the fall, and the winter to show you the year-round interest in my gardens. Um, my gardens are not perfect, they're not finished, but whose are, right? This is gardening, this is normal life. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm focusing specifically in this video on the plants that grab my interest in the spring. So if you would like to know more details on the specifics of the plant names, then you can check out the link in the description box below. It's going to take you to a blog post that will let you know exactly what the names of the plants are in each garden. All right, so this is the driveway garden. True to its name, it's alongside our driveway. So this garden was here when we moved to our homestead. It features a Rose of Sharon tree in the middle, which was there already. The rock and the peonies were also there. I did add this uh, sedum to the rock to slowly cover it, this moss flocks as well. And I love the color of the euphorbia in the spring. It's a vibrant yellow that was existing in this garden. So this garden was covered in grass and weeds and I had to dig most of it out. These peonies were here already. They're great for cut flowers at the end of June. I've been slowly trying to add more daffodils to the garden. The coral bells was a gift from my neighbor. And that is the driveway garden. So welcome to my backyard garden. I'm gonna start with an overview of the shape of this layout of this garden. It's kidney shaped. I have a large Norway maple on the one end and from it I like to feed my birds. So I have a lot of bird feeders hanging from it. Below it, there are these roses, not remembering the name at this time. It's a repeat bloomer and it gets beautiful rose hips in the fall. Then beside that I planted this dwarf Albert spruce for some year round color in the garden. I think that's really important to factor in. And then this is kind of an overview of the garden right now. We got columbine, still waiting for the buds to form. Hydrangea, magnolia, and a lilac. This is the lilac. There's no flowers forming on it yet, hopefully soon. This is my firelight hydrangea that I pruned on one of my YouTube videos. And this is a sun sprite magnolia, four years old. Beautiful yellow with pink. This is a gold flame spirea. Love the vibrant red. And then below that maple, I have uh, different varieties of hostas growing. It's more of a shaded area. So that's the backyard garden. So starting with the deck garden now, this is alongside our deck. It's a small little area. The main feature tree in this garden for me is definitely the viburnum. It has beautiful white snowballs in the spring and the leaves are a vibrant red in the autumn. Now there are some perennials in this garden that are not quite up, like I have a miscanthus grass on the one end, which is very beautiful for winter interest. Periwinkle growing alongside the ground. Lots of different hellebores planted in this garden. This is the only one blooming right now. Some daffodils coming up, vibrant yellow. Here's some Solomon seal. Those little white teardrops, I think, are, add so much interest to the garden. My hostas are just starting to come up. I think they look so cool when they come out of the ground. Remind me of skunk cabbage, actually. This is a summer wine nine bark, which I planted last spring, and a pulsatilla plant. Okay, lastly, the front garden. So if you are coming to my house, this is the garden that you would see as you come along. This bird house actually was a gift from my grandmother, and these ferns I planted in these pots. They're kind of just on our front porch area. This is an overview of the garden here. As you can see, it is completely bursting with spring bulbs right now. We have tulips, we have allium, we have daffodils, and hyacinth and Siberian squill. It really puts on a show in the spring and I cannot take credit for it. The uh, owner, previous owner loved bulbs and she really planted a lot. So these are the tulips and this is Kaiser Kroon that I actually added this fall. I like the red and the yellow variegation. 
I think they play off very nice with the purple. This is some purple moss phlox and a, another spirea here. The barberry there, I don't know if you can see him, but he is completely smothered right now by the spring bulbs. So once those spring bulbs, specifically the allium, are done flowering, then I will cut them back and then the barberry can take over the show. I have a boxwood hedge, and then behind that boxwood hedge is a row of Annabelle hydrangeas. I do have an elderberry on the side, as well as some rock plants, some pink moss phlox, sedum, but that is an overview of my front garden. So I hope you've enjoyed this tour of my garden and that you will consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I make one new video every week on simple living, gardening, and home decor. Thanks for stopping by a seasonal abode. Thank you.